you have decided to reconnect with a person you've been apart with for some time, you have a very strong spiritual connection to this person. I can't determine if y'all are some type of soulmate, twin flame counterparts or not, but you have recently reconnected with this person and y'all are taking it slow, but you're trying to decide if this is the right thing to do. So let's find out. Y'all know who y'all listening to. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel here at Mommy Wata Tarot. I do appreciate all of your love and support. I really do. I love you back and I support you back through these downloads, through these channel messages that I do truly believe give people insight and clarification about things in their life. And thank you again to everyone who reaches out to me and lets me know how my messages impact them. I'm not able to respond to everybody. I do try to respond to everybody, but just know I really love you. I appreciate you. I thank you. And you do keep me encouraged to do what I'm doing, okay? So Holy Spirit, what do you want this feminine to know about this masculine that she recently reconnected with? Is he faithful and true? Is he full of shit? What's happening with this energy, Holy Spirit? One more shuffle, y'all. What do you need to know about this masculine? And if this feminine should or should not reconnect with not well, she already done reconnected with him, y'all. That's what I'm picking up. But now she like, should I have done that? That's that's what she's saying. Should I have done that? She hadn't had sex with him yet, though. She hasn't taken it all the way. So let's let's see if we need to stop her in her tracks before she do so. Holy Spirit, what would you like for this particular feminine to know at this time? We have the Two of Cups, okay? The Two of Mirrors, which also stands for the Two of Cups. So like I said, she has reconnected with this man. Okay, it's giving success and love, Kipper deck, with them two um, swans or whatever them shits is right there, okay? But I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Clarify this two of cups, Holy Spirit. We have the hangman. I'm telling you, there go that owl. Somebody need to listen to the owl of wisdom. Okay, and with this hangman energy, I really feel like she's about to get caught up in some bullshit. I do, and I can't make it up. With this devil card here, you need to leave this man alone, okay? I'm telling you right now. You about to get caught up in a toxic, dark, manipulative, crazy ass cycle with this dude you about to be caught up in some bullshit this time around you know and i feel like if you go back to this person and you accept this offer that they're giving you because uh, look they only got one rose for you they ain't got a bouquet of roses okay but if you go back fucking with this devil energy you are going to be in an a loop it's gonna be an ongoing loop of karma that you're going to experience because you should have left this person alone that's what i just heard you already know what time it is with this person look we got the moon it's not unclear to you it's very clear to you you've had enough downloads into intuitive messages even physical proof to let you know that this man has not changed. We have the Knight of Stones, which is also the Knight of Pentacles. Like I just said, you want to act like you don't know what time it is, but you've already been shown. You've already actually received evidence, whether it be on the physical realm or the spiritual realm, that this man don't mean you no good. You already know that. We have the Queen of Stones, which is also the Queen of Pentacles. So what this is giving me is that he didn't realize that your ass has blossomed 
you have become very profitable. Maybe you are some form of artist, okay? I'm getting that from this Queen of Pentacles card, that you've had success in whatever your passion is in life, and you are very abundant right now. This may be why he's considering or has considered reconnecting with you. We have temperance. You are this flower energy. You know, I've been picking up on flower energy again lately. But you are this flower energy that's going to balance his life. And he knows that. He knows that you have the resources, whether it be financial resources or spiritual resources. I'm hearing that. He knows that you are some form of alchemist and you can take his current situation and make it better. What is this man's current situation? Because I just heard that. He knows that you can balance him out. We have the two of scrolls, okay, which is also the two of swords. He's going, he's trying to make a decision. He's going through some difficulties. We have the Hierophant out here now. They, these difficulties and decisions he's making may be dealing with a child, okay? He, he may have some form of commitment that he's in that involves a child. And he's trying to decide what to do because obviously this emperor, obviously he not doing too well. Or something going on within this Hierophant dynamic, okay, that he's trying to decide about. And I do feel like a child is involved in this, this commitment he's in. And this is why he has possibly not been with you prior to now or not even connected with you prior to now. Like I said, this man has not actually jumped into a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles yet. They've recently reconnected. They've been talking, shooting the shit, trying to get back acclimated with each other. Okay? But she has been, it's a voice, you know, in the back of her mind, that, that gut feeling, that intuition, and y'all, I'm actually working on something to teach you about how to recognize your intuition and use it effectively, and I will be releasing that on Tuesday, okay? So, y'all just stay tuned for that, because people got to know how to listen to their intuition, and they got to know they, the difference between intuition and reason, okay? This woman is trying to reason with reality reason with the facts that she already knows about this emperor this queen of pentacles is well aware that this man is most likely in some form of commitment i feel like she even has an idea or feeling that there is a child involved he just don't want to tell you what's going on with this emperor and this hierophant energy holy spirit he just ain't telling her what he got going on but i'm telling you right now we got the Ten of Spirals, which is also the Ten of Swords. Hmm. He definitely thinking about betraying this commitment for this Queen of Pentacles. He's definitely thinking about whoever this is, he's in this Hierophant energy with. He is definitely thinking about betraying them and moving on to this Queen of Pentacles. So that right there should tell you, sweetheart, you don't even need to be fucking with him because he's willing to drop a whole commitment with a small child involved, okay? That he obviously been committed to since before he got back with you to come over here and be with you. But I'm telling you, it's something with that. It is something with this. It, it's even giving me almost like the baby mama gonna know that you that he coming back over there to you to get some money and get on his feet because they shooting bad right now. I'm hearing that. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. It's like she know. Ooh, child, I can't make it up. We got the damn Queen of Cups. This mother commitment figure <laughs> that he that he with. This woman who is a mother to a small child that he has with her, I'm getting that. A queen of cups is a mother. 
a nurturer, okay? She is aware of this empress' des desire to go towards you, but what I'm getting is he, she, it's not going to stop him from fucking with her, and she knows that. She also knows, here go this damn owl again. This, I'm telling you, okay, somebody really needs to listen to what the fuck is coming out in these last three readings. These last three readings, the owl of wisdom has been popping out in various cards. It is some, some type of knowledge that you need to accept. It's some type of guidance that you're not listening to from the universe and the universe is trying to tell you something god is trying to tell you something especially now whoever's dealing with this emperor karmic energy whoever has allowed an emperor who they thought was an emperor rather to come back into their life you need to listen to this reading you really need to be mindful i'm telling you i yeah i'm saying you need to damn it because that's how i'm hearing it the Holy Spirit be like, you need to tell them. And that's why I'm going to stick with that shit. I'm not going to start switching it up. You got enough common sense. If you're watching my channel, you got enough common sense to know I'm not saying you need to do this. You need to do that. Like you a fucking child. No, that's how I express myself because that is how I'm hearing it from the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling y'all right now, this Queen of Cups is well aware of what this Emperor is planning on doing with this Queen of Pentacles. And she down for it because they shooting bad. There's something going on with this Emperor and this Queen of Cups. What's happening between this Emperor and this Queen of Cups? He may be willing to betray her for you, but I feel like she know he going over there to betray her for you. And it's got something to do with money. I don't care what nobody say. We got the damn Queen of Swords out here now. Like I said, yes, she may be coming off as a Queen of Cups because she is the mother of this Empress child. This is who he actually, I really feel like this is who he actually love and care for. Okay? Even for her to come out here as this Queen of Cups energy. Well, we know she really can be a Queen of Swords. She can be very cutthroat and she down for the bullshit. I'm telling you. She is. She knows the truth about what this man is planning to do with you because you have stepped into some form of abundance. Now here he come. It's like, honestly, it's like all of the, for the past few months, you probably couldn't get a text back or a response from this guy, this emperor, okay? But all of a sudden, he he's very verbal. He's very vocal with you. Y'all are talking more than y'all done talked in months in the past couple of days or so, past few days or so. There's a reason for that. This motherfucker ain't just have no damn revelation, no epiphany about how special you were. Because if he really thought you was that special, why are you coming out here as the Queen of Pentacles? 1331 on the phone. And the woman he with coming out as the Queen of Cups. He sees you as some form of value that would be beneficial to him. He sees her as someone that he loves and cares and is going to nurture. Okay? And she knows the truth about her man, what type of man she got. He actually, the way it's, it's given, he really should have came out as an emperor in reverse. But the fact that the Ten of Swords came out right behind the emperor, that let me know he ain't shit. Okay? He ain't shit. What else, Holy Spirit? And she ain't shit either. I'm telling you right now. Oh, she look, Empress, here you go. Okay, because they see your, your stones, honey. You got a pocket full of stones with this Ten of Pentacles here. She know you got it. And if he if he can get back in good with you and get some of it, it's gonna uh it's gonna come to her. That's what she know. Because this man is committed to this other woman. He just ain't telling you that. These people may have even gotten engaged or married, child. This man might even be married. I just heard that. He ain't going to tell you, though. Look, what came out, y'all? We got the son, like I said. I just heard that this man may even be married to this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. If they're not married, 
they got some kind of legal obligations together on paper. I'm telling you right now. That's why she don't mind him going and fucking with you because he knows, she knows, and he knows that most likely he can get some money out of you and not, hey, I need $1,000, but hey, I got this situation looming over my head and I got to take care of it and I need your help, okay? That's the vibe here. Please believe. It's all a plot and scheme. With this Seven of Swords, she's well aware of his plot, plot and scheme to get your money somehow. And he coming in hard to get it, honey, with this cherry energy. I'm telling you right now, this man got a plan for your ass. That's why this devil card came out. You need to be mindful. You need to remember the bullshit that he took you through in the past, okay? Because somebody ain't learned. Somebody has not learned. What happened between this Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor in the past, Holy Spirit? We have the Page of Mirrors or the Page of Cups. Clarify this Page of Cups energy, Holy Spirit. We have the Lovers. So at one point in life, this man had the option. See, this is why I keep trying to tell somebody that somebody need to listen to me. Because I feel like a lot of people have went through this shit. It's a lot of different women who have experienced this. And they're feeling like they are going to, like, I don't know. That's why I told y'all, y'all got, I'm telling y'all, y'all got to be careful about listening to these people who are feeding you this rhetoric of returning to karmic partners, okay? Y'all have been being fed a lot of rhetoric about returning to karmic partners. God do not want you to get with no karmic partner, okay? I don't give a fuck what nobody say, okay? God do not want you to return to nobody who was mistreating you harming you, having you in all kind of fucked up ass energy, okay? If somebody is returned to your life and 80% of your experience was bad with them, you don't need to keep fucking with them, okay? This man knows that you have some form of healer, healing energy. With this page of cups here, he knows it's the healer. That's what this card stands for in this deck. He knows that you can fix his current trials and tribulations, his current situation. At one point, you look, and it's, I, I really honestly feel like that it was some type of child energy between the two of y'all, 1818 18 on the phone. But at one point, you were his love choice, okay? What else about this Queen of Pentacles and this Emperor? Y'all, I'm just telling y'all, I'm getting this, like, gut feeling, child. A lot of people, they about to be fucked up again. But this time, you're going to be doing that karma with these karmic partners that y'all done let back into y'all life. Because y'all swear y'all in love with these motherfuckers. With this Ace of Cups energy. Child. What is going to happen to this Queen of Pentacles if she allows this Emperor to return and stay in her life? He didn't already return to your life. We have the star. You're going to get some real truth for that ass. Clarify the star energy. You're going to learn some things out. You're going to really get the truth and clarity about why you should have left this man alone. Okay? And why this Ace of Cups ain't as strong as you think it is. Because it's not. I'm telling you now. We got the Seven of Wands. You need to have your guard up to this man. He going to, I feel like he going to get what he need to get out of you. Spit some hard truth about the reality of what things are between the two of y'all. And he going to put his guard back up to you. Because it's only about the money. It's only about the pinnacles. It's only about the physical boost that you can add to his life during this time. 
that he's going through. Holy Spirit, what's what they going through? We ain't get, I don't think we got information on that. We saw how she was down with the plot and that he is scheming on you. Look, we got the hermit. These people going through. Well, y'all, the camera had cut off, right? I had then talked about the Ace of Pentacles and the hermit card. These people are going through some type of dark night of the soul energy. Right behind that, I didn't realize the Seven of Cups had came out. There's definitely some illusions to these people's lives. But they are going through some form of dark night of the soul, some form of judgment right now. One second, y'all. So... When the camera cut off like that, you know we spilling the beans, okay? So what clarify the Seven of Cups energy regarding this Emperor and this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords he's with? We have the Page of Scrolls or the Page of Swords. So these people are currently going through some type of catharsis. It's really giving dark night of the soul, okay? They, they've received, they have had some setbacks. They have went through some shit, okay? And they are trying to fix their life. They are trying to fix their situation. I feel like there are some issues with all aspects of their life with the Seven of Cups. As you know, on the traditional Seven of Cups card, you see all these cups filled with different luxuries, different amenities, different aesthetics that we worry about in this thing called life, okay? But I feel like these people got caught up in the aesthetics. Like maybe they overextended themselves financially to appear to be living in luxury, to appear to have all of these things. And they see that, you know, it ain't working out like they thought. With this Seven of Cups, if you look at that mirror behind there, behind her, that mirror is cracked, y'all. That means whatever illusions that these people were trying to present to the world about how abundant they were, how solid they were, how ab abundant. It's something about abundance in these people. Like, they were being really flashy, but that shit didn't crash and burn. I'm telling you, with that crack mirror back there, people are well aware with this page of swords of what is really up with this couple. Okay? Maybe you're not aware, but other people are aware. Just like they can see how good you're doing, other people can see how bad they are doing. Okay? Anything else you want us to know about this couple, Holy Spirit? Anything else? We have Merlin, the hero, which also stands for the food card. I'm telling you, you have not been talking to this man. You could not even hardly get a text back. You, if this 333 on the phone, you if you call this man, he wouldn't even pick the phone up, okay? And now all of a sudden, he's, he's so verbal with you. He communicates with you. He's expressed himself and his emotions to you even, I'm hearing. And you're like overjoyed, okay? Your ace of cups for this man is spilling over because of these recent attempts he's made to be cordial to you he ain't really did much now he has not this man like i said he's only offered you a single rose worth of energy which ain't much i don't care what nobody say okay you know he's not really showing you that much but you're taking this little bit of attention and conversation and you are like head over heels, child. You just, 
thank God I even heard you say that. Like, thank God we're finally about to back together. We made it through this twin flame journey. We're going to reunite, reunite but this ain't your twin flame. The only reason why this man coming out as the emperor is because you hold him in this very high, high regard that he's actually not worthy of because the Ten of Swords came right out after his ass. Or after how you see his ass, okay? Because he ain't that. We got the King of Wands. This who the fuck he really is, okay? And I didn't even know this was in my damn hand. I'm just a talking, but I'm telling you, this man ain't no emperor. He ain't your twin flame. He a king of wands, a karmic, who is committed to another woman that he recently had a baby with. They shooting bad. They going through some type of karma, dark night of the soul energy for all the illusions and lies that they had going in their lives, okay? And they are looking to you to help clean up some of their mess. And as soon as this emperor energy gets what he needs to get out of you, he's going to reveal some form of truth to you. Okay, he's going to let you know that this ain't really what he wanted. He thought this is what he wanted. I'm hearing him. He gonna run into you like that, child. He gonna make you think that he tried. He tried to be with you. He made the choice with this star energy to come over to you. And, you know, it's been many moons since y'all been together, but he just really thought that y'all were going to have some magic again, okay? And I feel like it's also, if you decide to go back down the road with this man, you almost deserve this. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that. You deserve the, the you will deserve the misfortune that you receive if you choose to redeal with this karmic partner again because this is not your twin flame okay any final messages holy spirit anything else that you want this queen of pentacles to know here this empress energy because i'm telling you that's what you really is this man know who the fuck you is okay we have the eight of mirrors child somebody need to walk away that's all i can say you need to walk away because he ain't gonna walk away he finna keep coming and gunning for you until he get what he want out of you and he pacing himself he ain't finna rush in too hard because he don't want to look too suspect but he he's working on you he's been manipulate manipulating you already and you don't even realize it and that's why the Holy Spirit is urging you to walk away with this Eight of Cups here. The writing is on the wall. You can see clearly what this man's intention is. If you really look, if you really pay attention to the signs, if you really think back to how he's been treating you even in the past few months, this man ain't had no sudden change of heart. This man going through some life difficulties and he sees you and your abundance as a physical boost that can help improve his life with another woman, period. So the choice is yours, okay? It really is. But the Holy Spirit is hoping that you choose to walk away from this situation, okay? And I'm dropping the mic on that. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and clarification that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.